Hi there, Roger Burnley here with another video for you. Um, again, another question that I get a lot <laughs> on this one is how to sing in tune. Let's talk about that from the psychological standpoint, first of all. You can sing in tune. I need you to kind of get that word first. The reason that you have not been able to sing in tune is that one, you have been not physically producing sound in the way that allows you to control where your pitch is going. And if you've been doing that for a long time, if you just basically started out with not much singing ability at at all, then yes, it will take you time to learn that, to develop that, because what is happening is that you're also developing your ear. You're developing the way that you hear yourself, the way that you hear yourself singing. Now, a couple of different things. If you have been a singer and you know that basically you sing on key, you sing in tune most of the time, but there are occasional times where you kind of go off pitch that should tell you right away that it is a physical thing. It's not that you can't hear pitch, all right? So what we then need to do is correct what it is that you're doing physically that is causing you to go off pitch. A lot of times it can be the way that you're singing a word, the way that you're singing a vowel sound. It can be that you're pushing or you're tightening too much. It could be a lot of different things and we'd have to break apart your voice to be able to see exactly what that is. But there's some very general things that happen that cause that. Now, if you are a beginning singer and you've been told all your life you're tone deaf, don't believe it. It's not true. And I know that from experience. I took a client many years ago who could not hear a single pitch, but he was determined that he wanted to sing. And so it took us a long time, but I got him. We did some ear training and got him to start to control what his voice was doing. And as you start to control what your voice is doing, then the way that you hear yourself will start to change as well. And another word of advice about that, as you're doing these exercises, as you're correcting some of the old habits that you might have had that may have been giving you problems, the other thing that will start to happen is that you'll start to experience the way that you hear yourself very differently as well. So um, what one of the things that I use, and a lot of people say they don't quite you know, know that they can do this, but let me tell you, if you practice it enough, you will do it. So I'm gonna do an exercise, and this is on my, my, my singing program, but I, I haven't used these on the video very much, but I wanna do this one now because it accomplishes two things. One, it gets you to start to be a little more flexible in terms of not you know, forcing your sound, so to speak, but also helps you to start to develop your hearing. Now, what I'm going to have you do is to think as you're doing this again, I use this a lot, is that you're going to try to hear yourself in your forehead right up here. It's not in your nose. It's not down here. It's right up here. That's all I want you to think about. It may take you a while before you get that experience. But I guarantee you that after a while, when certain things are out of the way, you will start to do that. So don't get frustrated at first if you don't really get that. But let me show you this one exercise. It's a fun one because, again, it's going to have you create a lot of flexibility. So just listen to it a little bit first, and I'm going to do a little bit of it. See how it's just going back and forth and back and forth. And so, in one, it's going to force you to let go, allow the, allow the vocal cords to do that changing and hit those notes. And at the same time, I need you to focus on being able to hear yourself doing it, okay? Ah, 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 up here. Ah, 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 
Ah, right there. Ah, 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 ah. And the thing that I want you to get as you're doing this is to that thinking that you're not shoving this around, you're not forcing this around, you're just allowing the vocal cords to change back and forth to keep changing those notes. So um, no matter where you are, please believe me that eventually you will start to have this perfect pitch where you will sing in tune all the time. It will develop. It just takes practice and patience and persistence. That's it. Okay, so now if you also want more information about my uh, singing program, Singing Made Simple, there is a link at the bottom of this video and you can definitely check that out as well. And until next time, thank you so much for watching this video.